Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Huge, huge news in the overall market as inflation report comes out today and it's not looking good. It went basically from 8.5 to 8.3 and I know to a lot of us, we're like, hey, it went down, right? That's a good thing. Unfortunately, it's not a good thing because experts were really predicting it to go down to 8.1 and the idea was that, you know, we had to beat expectations. So it would have been better to be in the sevens, in the high sevens. Here's the issue is that why it's bad is because the feds raised the rates and experts thought that the, because of the fed uh, rate hike, inflation would be expected to go down to 8.1, right? And because that didn't happen and it went down only to 8.3, it shows that whatever the feds are doing is not working uh, good enough. So now we're going to see, you know, the feds even raise rates even higher to combat inflation. So basically, what does this mean? It means it's not looking good. It's not looking good. But at the same time, it's going to really put, uh, put the brakes on the housing market, right? The housing market is going to take a huge, huge dip because basically less people out there are going to be able to afford to buy, to get mortgages with these super duper high rates. Uh, you could see we're already starting to see banking layoffs. So banks are preparing themselves for a slow, uh, you know, for a slow couple of months or years. I don't know what they're they're expecting, but the writing's on the wall. Uh, things are, you know, basically markets crashing, cryptos crashing. Everything is sort of crashing and it's not looking good. And housing is crashing also. And that is could be for some of us a real, a good thing. Why? Because, you know, the problem is the housing has been so out of control lately that it has priced a lot of us out and seeing price reductions definitely is going to be better for a lot of us. Uh, anyone who is in the market looking to buy a house, you know, the deals are getting sweeter and sweeter and sweeter. Again, I think buying right this second is an terrible idea personally unless you find a perfect home and everything works out perfectly but for me i think you come back in a few months and prices are going to be even better now i wanted to jump into this neighborhood called Coeur d'Alene. now it is in let me show you where it is if we zoom out it's basically up here right it's uh it's really close to canada it probably gets really, really cold, okay? I could almost guarantee you it gets really, really cold here. But I hear this place is insanely awesome, okay? Uh, just hear great things about it. And it's expensive, okay? You know, when you think of, you know, somewhere being so far from big cities, you know, such a cold area, you would think houses here would be a dollar, right? But no, the opposite. This is a highly, highly desirable area, especially anywhere by this water. And I have never been here. Uh, I am looking to visit Coeur d'Alene very, very soon because again, I hear really great things. Now, I do have the Zillow search to, you know, more than 90 days on Zillow because I'm really trying to outline those, uh, those price cuts, right? Uh, basically, I have it set to 90 days because uh, most likely houses that have been sitting on the market for 90 days are probably going to have uh, the biggest price cuts because, you know, they're not selling. And if the seller is motivated, they're going to take, you know, money off. Now, look at uh, this, these two homes right here. OK, both are about the same price, $699 and $615. OK, so within $100,000. But this one had a $31,000 price cut. This one only had a $9,000 price cut. Look, this one, six twenty-five with a twenty-four thousand dollar price cut. Sometimes, you know, people when people are holding on to a really, really nice house, you might not see them do huge price cuts. If they know they got the goods, they know that they did everything right with that house. You know, they always hired professionals to fix. To you know, they know they're in a good neighborhood. Yeah, they're going to ask for a little bit more money. I, I guarantee you. Now we have, like I said, look. Uh, I could tell you prices are coming down fairly quickly. Uh, we have all these are all price cuts. Like basically, usually when I go into hot markets, you, you don't see, you know, the first five uh, homes with price cuts. So we are seeing price cuts in Coeur d'Alene. That's a good sign. I want to start with this house. 
If you've been watching my videos, you know exactly why I would pick this house to be my first house. Can anybody guess? Well, I'll tell you, because I could see the sidewalk. You guys know I am a sucker for sidewalks, and this is the type of sidewalk that I love, right? <laughs> you guys are probably thinking I'm crazy, but basically I like it when there's grass on both sides of the sidewalk. I like it because the driveway continues and then the dip into the street happens in the grassy area. You can't see it on this photo, but basically uh, it shows that it's an older house, it's an older neighborhood, and older neighborhoods look like this. And I'm just, I kind of like that. I, I really love a neighborhood with this type of sidewalk. Now, when you look at this house, 625, they shaved off 24,000, so they had it at uh, 650. Uh, they seem to me like they're very motivated. 9, 000, uh, 1,900 square foot, three bedroom, three bath. It's very nice. It's a great price, in my opinion. Uh, just looking at this house, it looks really, really nice. Um, if you look inside, look at that. Floors are insane. Uh, this looks like tile to me. So it's wood um, tiled up to me uh, that looks like wood because I could kind of see the grout line. Uh, really, li I actually, I really do like that type of tile. I love this house. I do like the carpet. It, I'm not crazy about carpet, but carpet in the living room like this does look really classy. Kitchen is really, really nice. Don't love the dark cabinets. I do like lighter cabinets, but again, it's new. It looks really nice. It's uh, don't know about the pink. Uh, you know, one of the things you do when you move in is you do a whole paint job, right? So always save a little bit of money to paint the house. Backyard looks really nice. Uh, looks like you're in a community. So HOA is 280 a month, sort of on the expensive side. Uh, but no, I like this house. It's kind of nice. It's really pretty. And I love the sidewalks and they are motivated. $24,000 off. Man, I'm telling you guys, you come back here in six months and this house is probably gonna be 550. I, I almost will guarantee it. Uh, let me see, you know, there's so many price cuts. I kind of want to be a little on the picky side. Here's a $50,000 price cut on a, a 525, 1600 square foot. Uh, very motivated, $50,000. So they had it for 575. They want to basically sell this house. I could tell you that, yes, it looks a little older, but it's got character. I don't know what it is about this. But I actually really like it. I wonder what this is right here. This Is that like a power cable or something? Or You know what I'm seeing? This little, I don't know what that is. We'll see from another photo. Oh, it's like a power lines. Yeah, my wife will not like power lines. But no, this house is super cute though. Look, uh, kitchen looks nice. Floors look nice. Floors look like uh, somewhat new. Uh, wood floors, it goes upstairs. Again, it's not a big house. They are asking quite a bit of money, but they did shave at 50,000, so they are somewhat motivated. Uh, love the backyard, very cool looking shed. Uh, again, don't love the power lines, but that's okay. Um, this looks like a cool place to, you know, hang out. You know, obviously, probably wanna build something a little nicer than this. But no, this is okay. This is not bad. Again, it is sort of expensive. I mean, 525, you know, for 1600 square foot, basically, um, you know, very close to Canada where it's freezing. It seems really expensive. Let's see what else we can get. Whoa, this is a million bucks. Okay, uh, all right. So no price cut on this, but I gotta look at this. Uh, 1 million bucks, 3,000 square foot, four bedroom, three bath. This is it. This is the one that I want. Okay, where do I call? Who do I call to get this? This is what I want. This is it. I think I had a dream about this house. Uh, actually, the inside, it's, I, I just, I, I don't like the furniture, but look at that. Wait, not this one. Hold on, this one. Look at that, guys. Could you imagine coming out here with your friends, having a little fire, get the paddleboard, go paddleboarding around the river? A million bucks, and you will, <laughs> you will have this right here. Look, you got a little dock. You bring your. I wonder if you could bring a boat here. Look, it's got this uh, like sprinkler uh, fountain in the middle of the lake. I don't know what that's all about. This is uh, insane, insane for a million bucks. 
Could you look how peaceful that looks? Look at that. A million dollars can get you this. Absolutely love it. Love it. But you know what? Oh, wow. Look at this. I do not know about this. I've never lived so close to bears. That sort of scares me quite a bit, actually. Not, oh, wow. Look at this. Look at that. That's awesome. Okay. I'm definitely saving this house. Definitely, definitely, definitely. The, oh, man. Look, a moose. I hear moose are a little on the danger side, too. So, okay, so I would totally be freaking out here if I lived here. Look at that. A deer or, um, yeah, is that a deer? The male deer or something. Um, love it, love it, love it, but sort of scary if I, if I, you know, just being real, okay? Um, you're literally in the woods, man. You're in the woods. There you go. You got a nice little sidewalk. You guys know I love sidewalks. Uh, I, you know what? Sort of absolutely love it, but a uh, million bucks is it's not cheap. Uh, but um, but you know what? I'm going to tell you. I was just telling you earlier that how cool would it be to go paddle boarding? Well, I got to tell you, there's like no way in hell I am going to be paddle boarding if there is a bear uh, you know, hanging out. Could you imagine paddle boarding next to this bear? And you know, when you're paddle boarding, you're not going very fast. So yeah, no, no way, Jose. Uh, and I got a feeling the water's really cold. So beautiful house though. Uh, insane. Maybe for a vacation, like you come and Airbnb it for the weekend. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. So I had to click on that, by the way. So let's see what else we have. Here's 800,000, man. I just wanna, I gotta find the price cuts though. I can't, can't get distracted. Um, here's mo very motivated seller right here, guys. 20, they shaved off $26,000. They have it at 399, so they had it at 425. A little on the small side, but $25,000 is quite a uh, you know a bit of money for 400,000. So I could guarantee you these guys are motivated. You know, the key is to find out how motivated they are and offer below uh, asking and see where they bite, you know, offer 365, you know, and just put really, you know, put them on the on edge. And if they're not getting any offers, they might just take your low ball offer. The key is you want to feel, you know, like you're getting a good deal. Look at this beautiful house, $55,000 off, $595. So they had it for about uh, $850. And it's 2,800 square foot, four bedroom, uh, three bath. Really, really nice. You get, you know, you're kind of nestled in between these other homes. You know, after looking at that bear on that last photo, I kind of want to be a, around as many people as possible. Uh, you know, for safety reasons. Uh, this house is actually really nice. It's sort of in the boonies. Uh, you know, um, again... Wow, look at that deck. It's really, really nice. Now, you know, I just can't get that bear out of my mind. Could you imagine you're walking out here and, you know, a bear jumps in front of you? So you got to know, you got to, I would definitely want to hang out with locals at the beginning, uh, you know, just to see if they could give me tips, you know, what to stay away from, what to look out for, things like that. Because, you know, you don't want to be caught, you know, uh, face to face with a moose or something like that because you know they uh they could they could step on you look at this a million bucks guys uh, 985 they shaved off 15,000 so they had it for a million brought it down to eight nine eighty five twenty two hundred square feet four bedroom two bath I guarantee you this is probably a very nice house look at this uh, these guys are not very motivated because they only shaved off $15,000 off a million dollar house. So they're not that, you know, they're just not that motivated, but you could kind of see why. Look, you get, they're selling you this. Uh, it's beautiful. Absolutely. Absolutely beautiful. Although, you know, sometimes you think like, ah, oh, look, you get all this land. But remember when you take out the garbage, you know, things sort of become a problem, um, you know, being so far away from people, if that's your thing, I, I don't know if I would want to, I don't know, I don't know, it's not, you know, it's, the house looks nice, but no, 
No way. I wouldn't want to be this far away from everything. Remember, you know, you run out of milk. It's going to take you an hour just to go into the city and get some milk, you know. Uh, here is here. Look at this house. Three point two five million dollars. Two thousand square foot. Tiny for three million. Three point two. 2,000 square foot, four bed. It's a nice size house. Don't get me wrong. Four bedroom, three bath. But guys, it's 3 million bucks. Now, yeah, let's check it out. You get to live in the water. Pretty insane. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, no bears come, you know, to your beach. This is beautiful. Look at this. This is insane. You get your own little beach. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Lake Tahoe. Uh, very, very nice. Comes with a boat dock. So you know what? If you're going to have a 3.2 million dollar house you need a boat love the deck hanging out out there now remember this is probably in the heart of summer uh you come here in january it's a whole different story <laughs> you will probably be ice skating on the lake uh you know they don't show those photos uh that's for a reason right for a reason now this house is absolutely spectacular man spectacular again it's three million bucks though which is a lot of money, guys. It's it's a lot, but man, look at that. It's insane, though. It's insane. The house is insane. Uh, you'll be out. It's just, I don't know, $3 million seems a little bit too much. Look, here's another hangout area. Gotta be careful because a bear could come down here. Oh man, I, I had no idea. Sorry, but just I saw that bear photo and just sort of spooked me. Um, what do you do? You know, you see a bear, you run in or you you, uh, you just jump into the ocean or into the lake or something. Look where you're at. Look at how beautiful that is. I guarantee you there's bears on this mountain. Guarantee it. Uh, house is really, really nice, though. This is uh, pretty insanely beautiful. Um, wow. But three million. It just I don't know. I don't know. Seems way, way overpriced in my opinion. Let's see what else we could find. Again, you know what? Very expensive. I had no idea it was this expensive. Um, you know, because you know, you're really out in the middle of nowhere, like at the end of the day, right? Uh, look at this. 46,000 off 1.2 million this is, uh, yeah, I mean, these homes, don't get me wrong. These homes are beautiful. I just had no idea. I just, I had no idea Coeur d'Alene was this expensive. Now, I could almost guarantee you, you know, prices are going to come down fairly quickly here. Look at this. This is a nice house. 500000 31000 off. Um, you know, it's uh, 2,700 square feet, sort of big, awesome backyard. Looks pretty cool. I so there's definitely some deals, and that's the that's the key. You know, obviously, if you're gonna be by the water, you're gonna be paying you know five million bucks for this, right? Uh, because you know that's just wait, what? What is this? Five thousand square foot, three bedroom, four bath. What is this? This is like condo. Five million dollars for a condo. What well, uh, Idaho's ultimate lake and golf living experience. So, okay, wow, five million bucks for this. I don't know, I, I, I'm, I guess I'm not, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting Coeur d'Alene. I'm sorry, today's been a hectic day, I guess. I'm just, why is this five million bucks? Five million bucks. I don't, I don't get it. This doesn't look like five million dollars. I mean, it's... Five, okay, fine. It's 5,000 square foot. You get a huge ass apartment. But whole, holy mackerel. I mean, 5.5 5. 5 million? And like, you know, you come here in the winter and this is probably miserable and freezing. Let's see what the HOA is. Oh my God. HOA quarterly six uh, $6,000. So on top of this being 5.5 5 million, 5 .5 million bucks, you're paying uh, like over $1,000 two thousand dollars a month on hoa fees insane i i mean am i crazy here like Coeur d'Alene had no idea look this is i mean here you get to buy a boat for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars no i'm sorry you get to buy a boat slip for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars 
Am I reading this right? Did I just... What? I... You don't, you're not buying the boat. You're buying the boat slip. Okay, $250,000. Okay, maybe, maybe, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. You could buy some property. One acre for 485 Yeah, very expensive, guys. Coeur d'Alene seems like, uh, wow, wow. Just very, very surprised at these prices. I, I encourage you guys to come here and do some of your own research. Very fun. I actually learned a lot about this place. Again, I am definitely going to come here and visit. Uh, this looks like an amazing place to check out. And I want to know what, you know, there's a reason why these prices are this expensive. That At the end of the day, there's a reason. Okay, just like when I told you I've been to Sedona, Arizona, which is a beautiful place. And I could tell you why it's so expensive because it's very dreamy. You know, there's something about this place that people say is is equally dreamy, right? It's a really nice place. And, you know, because I can tell you that by by its location, it's freezing out here. Look at this for nine hundred thousand uh, ninety a hundred thousand dollar price cut. They had had it for nine hundred thousand. You get to buy this one, <laughs> one bedroom, two bathroom, twenty five hundred square foot. So you basically li it's it's uh you, it's a it's a one big ass bedroom, I guess, one big ass room. But look, this is you own all this piece of land. Pretty insane. It's pretty insane. But you know what? Yeah, this is real living, man. This is like for for real because. You know, there's big animals out here, guys. Big, big animals. And I wonder how, mo how much maintenance it really takes to uh, maintain this much land. Really cool. I definitely want to visit. Absolutely on my bucket list. Okay, guys. I am going to finish this video right now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I want to just say thank you to everyone who's been supporting my channels. If you want me to do research on a specific city, please comment down below. Let me know and I will make that video for you. If you're new to my channel, please, uh, if you like my videos, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and go ahead and like and leave a comment. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video.